हेलो एवरीबडी माई नेम इज अमित एंड यूर वॉचिंग दिस इज दिस इज द वीडियो नंबर वन ऑफ द सीरीज वेर वी आर गुना डिस्कस द बेसिक्स ऑफ परसेंटेजेस I am going to be making 10 to 12 videos only for you because this topic is very 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 important you name the competitive examination aur ye har jagah pe pucha jata hai so uh, my agenda in this video is to tell you the basics and we will keep building upon our theories and we will keep increasing the difficulty level over and above these videos right uh, so watch them all very very carefully my first question that i have taken here is uh, i have got ट्रिपल वन थ्री ऑफ दिस परसेंटेज और दिस ऑफ दिस परसेंटेज वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन दैट आई नीड टू आस्क यू इज इसमें से बड़ा कौन सा है नाउ सी दिस मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल विल से दैट आई दिस इज बिगर और दिस इज बिगर राइट बट यू नो वॉट वॉट इज द आंसर दिस इज द आंसर बोथ ऑफ देम आर इक्वल वाई बोथ ऑफ देम आर इक्वल इज बिकॉज इन आर childhood we have been taught that the meaning of writing percentage in mathematics is 1 over 100 right so wherever i see wherever i see a percent iska matlab kya hua isko kaise likhenge isko likhenge a over 100 does this make sense to you now uh, another thing that we have been taught is whenever whenever you have written off iska jo matlab hota hai that that means product so if if i write If I write a percent of B, how should I writing? How should I be writing this in mathematics? I would write this as a over hundred times a over hundred times B. So that is the meaning of a percent of B. So I have said what I have said here. Percentage ka matlab ho gaya one by hundred. Of ka kya matlab ho gaya? It has to be a sign of product or multiplication, right? So can you can you figure it out that a percent of B, a percent of B. and b percent of a both of them will give you the same value which is nothing but ab over 100 is that okay ab over 100 so that is how i say that these two values are nothing but same to is wali slide se hum kya seekhe ja rahe hain there are two things very important two things that we are learning number 1 Percentage is written as one over hundred, and number two is of is written as sign of product. And the third very important thing is a percent of B and B percent of A. Both of them are same. Dono hit बराबर है. आपको बिल्कुल भी confuse यहाँ पे नहीं होना है, right? Now, if you understand this thing, uh, I would like you to solve this problem. Problem बड़ा simple सा है. यहाँ पे लिखा है कि B percent of P is thirty six. So problem says that p percent of p percent of p is 36 and what do we have to do we have to find out the value of p simple problem hai kaise karenge isko what did i tell you p over 100 times p that should be that should be written as 36 so p square is going to be if we take this 100 over here on this side right side of equality that will become 100 in the numerator Uh, so p will be nothing but square root of 36 times 100 and if you simplify this thing you will be having 6 into 10 and that answer will come out as as this simple problem hai kya bola abhi tak maine ki aap kya seekh rahe ho percentage ka matlab 1 by 100 isn't it and of is product that as simple as that by the way how why do we use percentages and why do you need to know the, the basics of percentages because percentage hamesha hi comparison ke liye use kiya jata hai and and you see wherever you go it's all about percentages gdp ke bare mein baat karega percentage ke bare mein hai right uh, you say uh, the pa in, 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 uh, population is increasing or decreasing it is always in terms of percentages so percentage is something that you need to know your salary will increase in terms of percentages 10% 20% 50% may your salary increase by 100% every year if possible the second uh, the third question out here is x percent of y x percent of y plus y percent of x is equal to what now how do we solve this problem and these are the four options and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna pick up my pen based based on my understanding what did i say is the meaning of percentage over here the meaning of percentage over here it is in the denominator aapka 100 aayega right and and 
in the numerator what is that you will be having in the numerator you will be having this x and this y so this product will be coming out as x into y right and over here if you see y and x if you multiply these two so you will be having you will be having this thing so in the numerator what is that we should be having we should be having two times of x and y right and denominator mein to 100 hone hi wala hai right so which option will give you the answer this cannot give you the answer because in the numerator you will be having x into y so not not a possibility x into y not a possibility this is this is again y x not a possibility let's see this two times x y and this is going to be nothing but three times of x y so what is that what is that we are looking for hamare ko to chahiye two times of x y परसेंटेज के साइन को हमेशा डिस्कार्ड करके रखो एंड एंड राइट मल्टीप्लाई ऑल दोस वैल्यूज वहीं से आपका सारा का सारा आंसर आ जाएगा राइट सो व्हाट डू यू थिंक शुड बी द आंसर द आंसर हैज टू बी नथिंग बट सी राइट सो इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग आई हैव गॉट दिस क्वेश्चन फॉर यू नाउ अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग दिस इज रिटन दिस इज परसेंटेज एंड एंड परसेंटेज सो देयर टू टू साइंस ऑफ परसेंटेजेस व्हाट डज दैट मीन 1% गिव्स यू 1 ओवर 100 So two percentages will give you one over one over ten thousand, as simple as that. So yaha pe, what is that they are asking you again? So this is x into y, and this is again y into x. So in the numerator they have got two times of x y. Do you understand this? X y plus x y is coming out as two times of x y. Ab kya karenge? Ab aapko dekhna hai ki kaun sa option yaha pe sahi banega. Now understand this. Understand this. Over here you have got In all your options, you have got two times of x y, isn't it? So numerator, if you look at it, so over here this is numerator with two x y, right? And here you have got y and then two and then x. So that is also coming out as two times of x y. And and the third option is also going to give you two times of x y. So what does that mean? All the options will give you the same answer, which is nothing but two times of x y. But what is going to be in the denominator? As I just said over here, in the denominator you will be having two times of hundred, which is ten thousand, right? Why confused? Hona hai. Isko to bagheer pen uthaye hi aap question ko solve kar sakte ho, right? Okay. Now if you understand this thing, I have got some basics for you. Is basics pe na po saari ke saari log confused hote hain. So just to just to make you understand things. I have taken two values. My value A is ten, and my value B is twenty, right? And and uh, the first question that I have written over here is A is what percent of B? Try to understand this. If they ask you this, A is what percent of B? So you have got to be very very clear. There are two things. One is being compared with the other. A किसी दूसरे से compare हो रहा है. Now. Is is what percent of B? इसका मतलब क्या है? आप क्या कर रहे हो? You're comparing the value of A with the value of B, right? If you're comparing the value of A with the value of B, how you should be writing this A by B into hundred, as simple as that. And and if you need to find out, if you need to find out this thing, B is what percent of A? B is what percent of A? का मतलब क्या हो गया? B को A से compare कर रहे हो? जिससे कंपेयर करेंगे दैट वैल्यू शुड गो डाउन इन डिनोमिनेटर एंड जिसको कंपेयर कर रहे हैं दैट शुड बी दैट शुड बी प्लेस्ड इन द न्यूमिनेटर एंड दैट इज हाउ वी डू इट एज सिंपल एज दैट सो इफ यू फाइंड आउट दिस आंसर ओवर हियर ए इज 10 एंड बी इज 20 सो दैट इज कमिंग आउट एज व्हाट 10 ओवर 20 इनटू 100 सो दैट दैट विल गिव यू 50% राइट एंड ओवर हियर b ओवर a दैट्स गोइंग टू बी 220 ओवर 10 इनटू 100 So that's coming out as 200, right? So, किसको किससे कंपेयर करना है, किसको न्यूमरेटर में लिखना है, किसको डिनोमिनेटर में लिखना है, ये हमें अच्छे से पता होना चाहिए. Now, if you understand this thing, uh, my third question in the same series is A is A is uh, by what percent A is less than B? अब आप ये देखो ना, A is less than B. Over here, the comparison begins with B. क्योंकि बी से ही तो कंपेयर कर रहे हैं एंड ओवर हियर वी आर राइटिंग हंड्रेड वाई आर वी राइटिंग हंड्रेड बिकॉज इट्स वेरी सिंपल बिकॉज यू वांट टू मेक इट अ परसेंटेज राइट से फॉर एग्जांपल जस्ट टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड आई हैव गॉट अ रेशियो थ्री बाय फोर I have got a ratio three by four. अब इस ratio को percentage में कैसे convert करेंगे? We will multiply this with hundred and and we will be getting seventy five percent. So when we have to when we have to Convert ratios into percentages. What do we do? We multiply with hundred. And whenever, whenever you have to 
convert percentages when you have to convert percentages into ratios what do you do you just divide it by 100 and and that comes out here as your ratio so ratio to percentage and percentage to ratio is a very basic thing uh, but my focus is not there my focus is here so in the denominator we have got b right ab aap kya kar rahe ho a is less than b yani iska matlab kya ho gaya yahan pe aap ye difference likhoge na ki a b se kitna zyada chhota hai right a b se kitna chhota hai not kitna zyada chhota hai and and here if you write b is bigger than a by what percent by what percent b is bigger than a to denominator will have to have a do we have the understanding and this will be over 100 because we have to convert this ratio has to be converted into percentage now here we will write b is bigger by b is bigger so this difference is coming out as this now you will simplify it and your answer will come out my objective is not to simplify things my objective is to let you know कि डिनोमिनेटर में क्या लिखेंगे और न्यूमिनेटर में क्या लिखेंगे इसी में बहुत सारे लोग कंफ्यूज हो जाते हैं तो आप क्या करो जब भी बी से कंपेयर करना है तो बी को लिखो डिनोमिनेटर में जब भी ए से कंपेयर करना है तो ए को रखो डिनोमिनेटर में और ये बिल्कुल ही सिंपलीफाइड हो, हो जाएगा नाउ if you understand दिस थिंग प्रॉब्ली आई हैव गॉट दिस क्वेश्चन फॉर यू ए 60% ऑफ बी देन व्हाट परसेंट ऑफ 4 ए इज 5 बी and then and then agar as a question aapko lagane hai toh there are multiple ways but then in the next video i have got the most simple method jisko dekh ke aap is wale problem ko sirf ek minute mein mere khal se ek minute bhi nahi lagna chahiye you will be able to solve this in 30 seconds right so this is going to be agenda in in the second video because people get confused ki kaha pe algebra word problem pe किसको 100 लेना है एंड इफ यू डू नॉट टेक एनीथिंग एज 100 एंड इसको एल्जेब्राइक तरीके से वेरिएबल लेके सॉल्व करेंगे तो बहुत ही कॉम्प्लिकेटेड हो जाएगा सो दैट्स गोना बी माय एजेंडा इन वीडियो नंबर 2 एंड आई एम गोना सी यू देयर